Today, we will start with a brief intro into the V12 Pathfinder tool and why you would utilize this tool. Then finally, I will demo installing and updating the V12 Pathfinder tool. First, let's start with a quick introduction into why the Pathfinder tool is an essential tool for Sage X3. Pathfinder allows you to search for details in bug fixes, enhancements, entry points, and other technical modifications delivered in each of the Sage X3 releases. Along with their references, items, and metadata, that were modified. Here we will discuss some use cases for using the V12 Patch Finder tool. This resource is primarily used to search for bug fixes that have already been released. So for example, if a customer is experiencing an error in 2020 R1, best practice would be to search for the error or object in Pathfinder to determine if any fixes or modifications have been implemented in 2020, R2, and above. Also, checking for new entry points and modify objects in preparation for patching slash upgrading are just some ideal use cases for utilizing the V12 patch finder tool. Today I will be installing the V12 2021 R2 patch finder tool. The V12 patch finder download can be retrieved from KB107253. Using the direct download option from KB107253, the file name should be patch finder dash one dot zero dot seven dash win dash x64 dot exe we'll be using the seven zip application to extract the contents of the download so i'm just going to right click the file select seven zip and extract files Then I'm going to select the browse option to navigate to my desired path. So I'm going to go to my D drive and then my Sage folder is where I want to install my V12 patch finder. And we're just going to select OK here. All right, so now we just need to navigate to the path where we install Patch Finder. And as you can see, it's under the same name that the EXE was as well. So we're just gonna double click to open up that folder. And we're gonna locate our application EXE. So we're just going to right click and we're going to select send to desktop to create a shortcut for the patch finder application and we're just going to double click the shortcut and voila you have your v12 patch finder 2021 r2 we can verify here the release under the search tab and under technical components, as you can see, we have 2021 R2 or 12.0.26 as well. And this is a new feature for this particular patch finder. Um, pretty much it allows you to see uh, the required components for that patch level. So you can see your Syracuse, your runtime, your MongoDB, your print server. Uh, when the numbers are bolded, that is the minimum requirement and it's a new requirement for that patch level.
All right, so we're going to go ahead and close Patch Finder. Next, we're going to update our Patch Finder tool to the latest version, which is 2021R3. That's the latest release that we currently have available for X3. So we're going to go back to our downloads folder. And using the quick update method, we are able to update the X3 patch finder data. So instead of reinstalling patch finder, we will be able to quickly update the data with the latest uh, technical components and fixes for the latest release. So in KB107253, under the attachment section, you'll be able to locate the latest JSON files, which I've already downloaded here. It's a zip file. All right, so we need to determine our actual installation path for our existing patch finder application. So if we right click and select open file location, and if we scroll up, we need to locate our JSON file. This is where we're going to extract the new 2021 R3 JSON files to update the patch finder data. So if we double click inside our existing JSON folder, we can see we only have patch finder up to 12.0.26, the JSON. And we also have the technical components JSON as well, which will be important because we'll see later that we're going to be prompted for a message and uh, we'll go through that demo of what you need to do when you're prompted with that message. All right, so now that we know our installation path, we're just going to right click. We're going to use 7-Zip again. We're going to select the same option, Extract Files. And we're going to browse to our X3 Patch Finder directory where we install Patch Finder. So the D drive, and then the Sage folder, Patch Finder. And then this the JSON folder. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And we're going to click OK again here. And this is the message I was indicating and how you should respond. So the existing PF underscore technical component JSON is already there. Um, and this prompt is just asking us if we would like to override it, which we do because we have uh, new data that needs to be updated for that particular um, technical component. So we need the 2021 R3 technical components data. So we're going to select yes. We do want to override it. All right. So now we're just going to go back to our shortcut and open back up the patch finder tool. And voila, as you can see, now we have 2021 R3 as the release. And under the technical components tab, we also have our 2021 R3 or 12.0.27 as well. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this short demo and short introduction into the V12 patch finder tool. Hope you gain some useful information and until X3 and beyond.